let's work with conditional probabilities in this question. So we have now the case where we would give the internship to the player and assuming that the expert tells us that the player is talented. What is the probability that he is valuable? So now what we're working is with conditions. We have the probability of a valuable player given that he is talented, given that he is talented. And the property of conditional probabilities tells us that's gonna be the probability of having a valuable player and talented divided by the probability of being talented. Now what's the probability of being valuable and talented? We can have a look in the table. That's valuable and talented, 0 0.05. So that's going to be 0 0.05 divided by the probability of being talented, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And if you work out the math here, that's going to be 0 0.10. So we have one probability found. Now we do the same logic for the probability of having a mediocre player given that he's talented. That's the probability of having a mediocre player and being talented divided by the probability of being talented. What's the probability of being mediocre and talented? Mediocre and talented, that's 0 0.40. So that would be 0 0.40 divided by the probability of being talented, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So this probability will be 0 0.8. So one more probability found. And now one more over here. The probability of being a failure, given that the player is talented, is the probability of being failure and talented divided by the probability of being talented. So failure and talented, that probability is 0.05 divided by the probability of talented, which is 0.5 and that's going to be equal to 0.10. So one more probability found. So we have them 0 0.10, 0 0.8, 0 0.10 again. What's the expected value of having a talented player? So once we, once we invest in the internship, what's the expected value of having a talented player? So the expected value in that case is going to be the sum. The expected value is going to, just let me change colors, expected value is going to be the sum, the sum of the probabilities and the corresponding values, just like before. So that's going to be the probability of 0 0.10 times the value of 11.5, 0 0.10 times 11.5, plus the probability of 0 0.8 times the value of 1.5, 0 0.8 times the value of 1.5, plus the probability of 0 0.10 again, 0 0.10 times the loss of minus 4.5, and that is going to have an expected value of 1.9. Now, that's the expected value if we offer him the contract, so that's how much we would, that, that's, that's how much we expect to get in return from the club. If we don't offer the contract, then we only have the loss, the investment of the internship, which is minus 0 0.5, and 1.9 is greater than minus 0 0.5, is greater than mi minus 0 0.5. So we would choose to go for giving the contract. So over here, the expected value of having a talented player would be 1.9 because we would choose to give him the contract. That would be the expected value of giving the contract. And let's just work out the intuition real quick. Does it make sense? Well, it does because if he's talented, if the internship proves, that, proves to us that he is talented, then of course we have a high probability of having money from him. So it makes sense to, to invest in him further and to have this positive expected value instead of just knowing that he's talented and not giving him the shot to be a successful player. So intuitively it makes sense that the expected value of a talented player is going to be when we offer him a contract. Now, let's leave it like that for this video. In the next video, we're going to work out the other case when the player is not talented by using the same method.